guys, so today we're doing Cha Ching number 46. I'm a little behind on my Cha Chings, uh, but I do plan on trying to get caught back up with them. So we're gonna start in with where I left off, and that was probably my best sale for this Cha Ching, and that was a vintage Gunny Sacks dress. Um, this sold for $132.50. Uh, vintage Gunny Sacks dresses are definitely desirable. There are lots of people who collect them. Um, so some I definitely feel like sell for way more than others. And this one um, was really, really pretty. And it even had some issues. There were some discoloration marks on it and that kind of thing. So even if you come across one that's not in, say, the best condition, I'd still pick it up. Um, the people who, um, you know, purchase these dresses know how to care for them. So they'll know how to properly clean them and that kind of thing. So, like, I'd leave that all up to the buyer. So, anyway, <laughs> I would definitely also list them on auction just so anyone who is collecting these dresses can have the, you know, potential to bid on the item and kind of decide uh, the price. I forget exactly what I listed it up for, um, but, you know, I was pretty surprised that it sold for quite that much. Um, I have sold other vintage Gunny Sacks dresses, but not for as much as this one did sell for. Um, and I got that at a yard sale and I think I paid about $5 for it. So next thing I have is an Easter time fiber optic. This was like a little Easter egg decoration. So this had the fiber optic little, you know, lights that move type of thing. You guys all know what fiber optic is. I picked this up at a thrift store. I think I paid about three or four dollars for it. It sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, next item was a vintage kitchen towel. This was made by Canon, and it had a dahlia flower on it. That sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I actually have another one, but a different flower that I need to list. Uh, next item was a Limoges butterfly place setting. So this had all different um, sizes of plates and then a little mug that sold for $24.99. And Eric and I purchased this at an auction. It was on a flat of stuff. Nobody wanted it. Um, so Eric just bought it for a dollar. So um, I'd say on that flat... Those Limoges dishes sold. I sold a glass um, stirrer from the 1930s and also a set of coasters. So I definitely made um, good profit off that dollar flat that nobody wanted at the auction. I still have one more Limoges butterfly place setting, but it is missing one of the plates. And I think the mug isn't in the best condition. So I haven't listed it yet. Uh, next was a Torrid Lilo and Stitch top that sold for $29.99. This actually went to a subscriber and I purchased that at Goodwill. I probably paid about uh, close to $5 for it for some change. I sold a pair of Hiawatha moccasins. These I got at the thrift store. Uh, I paid $7.47 for them and I sold them for $48.99. They were brand new with the tags. I sold an anthropology purse by Free People for $18.99 and I got that at a yard sale. I probably paid about a dollar or two dollars for it. The next three items all went to the same person. I'm not sure if it was a subscriber. I apologize, this cha-ching was some older stuff. So my mind isn't like fresh into um, whether or not um, I filled out um, little notes and stuff for the items. Uh, but the first thing they purchased was a top by Crosby that sold for $10.99. There was a Roman's top that sold for $14.99 and then a Concepts top that sold for $13.99. So the last two tops 
came from the Facebook Marketplace a garbage bag of clothes and the Crosby top was from a filled bag rummage sale. Uh, next was a lot of two men's Brooks Brothers uh, button down shirts. Those sold for $29.99 and I think Eric picked them up at the thrift store. Can't remember exactly what we paid for them. We did have them for a while. Uh, next was a vintage Bible, the Good Shepherd Bible from 1946. Eric picked this up at a yard sale for $1 and it sold for $29.99. I sold a PS2 Guitar Hero guitar and it also had the game inside. It was brand new, like even the sticker sheet for the guitar was new. It was just an open box pretty much. Um, I got that at a yard sale. I think I might have paid $10 for it, and it sold for $89.99. I sold a Bear Surprise plush animal. So this is like the Puppy Surprise, the Kitty Surprise, but this was like a newer one um, where like the mama is pregnant and like the babies are inside and you don't know uh, how many babies are going to be in there type of thing. So I paid... I think I might have paid two dollars for that at a yard sale and it sold for $29.99. That actually was a GSP purchase so it went overseas. So I always say if you don't offer um, international shipping with GSP definitely consider it because it opens up um, more potential sales for you. Um, I sold a women's swimsuit by Avenue that sold for $19.99 and guess what? that came from the Facebook marketplace garbage full of clothes <laughs> the next two items also um, went to the same person I think that was a subscriber um, first was a Kurt Adler mistletoe ornament Eric picked this up at a yard sale for one dollar that sold for $14.99 and the other item was a longer burger cat's meow little wooden decor piece that sold for seven dollars and 99 cents and i got that at a thrift store i think i paid about 50 cents for it um next was a another kurt adler item this one was an oh holy night um by the angel heights eric had purchased a bunch of these uh, Kurt Adler Angel Heights items at a yard sale a while back and he's still selling them. I mean a lot have gone. There isn't like a ton left. Um, that sold for $11.99. I sold a Jimmy Swaggart CD. This is the second Jimmy Swaggart CD I sold uh, for $19.99. So definitely come across Jimmy Swaggart. Pick him up because he seems to be pretty popular. He is a Christian singer and I've sold one of his other CDs before for a decent price. Um, I picked that up at a fill -a bag rummage sale. Next item was a gorgeous um, Aurora Borealis necklace. I picked this up at a yard sale for $1 and it sold for $13.99. It was hard to get like a really good picture of this but oh my gosh was it so beautiful when the light hit it. Uh, next was a Trail Life Uniform shirt that sold for $32.99. Eric picked this up at Salvation Army. We sold one, uh, another Trail Life uniform, I think in another Chiching, that was, it had like a patch on it, um, like a leader patch, and this one did not. Uh, but still so sold uh, pretty well. Next was a Vintage New Kids on the Block Donnie Puzzle. This was still sealed. It had never been opened. That sold for $19.99 and I paid $1 for it at a yard sale. Next was a purse by a company called Valentina. It was a really pretty leather bag. That sold for $38.99 and I got that at Goodwill and I think I paid about $6.99 for it, I'd say. I sold a Playtex bra for $9.99. Um, I'd say that probably came from a fill -a bag rummage sale as well. I sold a CJ Banks long sleeve top for $16.99. And I need like a little sign to like flash up when I say Facebook Marketplace garbage bag of clothes. 
Um, still, I have so many clothes uh, from all of those garbage bags that I bought. So, I have a lot of it listed, but there's still a lot that I need to list. Uh, next was a vintage handmade um, Easter egg that sold for $19.99. And I recently purchased this at a little junk shop. Um, I did pay $3 for it. And same with the next item also came from that same store. It was a Bone China Angel. She kind of gave me like some Valentine's Day vibes. She sold for $43.28 and I also paid $3 for her. Next we have that mason jar spoon rest. I recently purchased this at Goodwill for $0.99 cents and it sold for $19.99. Um, sold a pair of Birkenstock sandals for $69.99. These were like in brand new condition. I got them at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I did pay up for those. I think I paid $15 for them. Uh, but Birkenstock sandals can sell really, really high. And, um, you know, I've heard of people selling them even really used as well. So anytime I would ever find Birkenstock sandals, pick them up, no matter the condition, just pick them up and list them. Uh, and then the next two items also went to the same person and it was a dress barn little blazer jacket that sold for $19.99. And they also purchased that Mickey and Minnie denim jacket that I recently got. That sold for $49.99 and I got that at a yard sale for $10. I feel like I flew through this cha-ching a little bit. Um, I only did 30 items this time. Um, but yeah, I, I'm in the process of trying to get caught up. As far as any issues that have arisen on eBay, I can't think of anything that's really going on. Um, I'm starting to finally get a little back um, motivated, I guess you'd say, of getting things listed. I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit there when I was grieving and I'm still having my moments, obviously, but I'm trying to push through so I can get... Um, my stuff listed. Uh, sales have been so-so. I feel like, um, you know, they're, they're coming in, but I felt like for a while there it kind of slowed down, but I was thinking it was because of the fact that I wasn't really listing every day like I had been, and I have been noticing that um, sales are starting to pick back up. Uh, today is Sunday, and I currently have nine items that I need to package up um, to take to the post office tomorrow. So that's not bad, nine items for the weekend. Um, there were some good sales in there. And I do think my one Limoges trinket box is ending today. And I think that's like up to 60 some dollars now. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, sales have been okay. I mean, obviously the more would be even more amazing but i'm still happy with what i'm getting any sale is you know a good sale regardless um but as far as any issues i can't really think of anything off the top of my head um but yeah you guys have to let me know down in the comments um what's been selling for you lately how your sales have been or if you want to share any bolo that you found recently or just anything you want to talk about just uh, leave them down in the comments so I hope you guys enjoyed I'm trying to think like after I said if you found any recent bolos to let let us know and I'm trying to think if there was anything that I that I have found recently um I went to the auction with Eric um you'll see You'll see another auction footage before you see this footage because I'm that far behind. Um, but I did get, I won a set of Jeanette Glass refrigerator dishes. And the last set that sold, um, sold for like 
$42, I think, and I got two sets at the auction. So um, that was a bolo I didn't really know about. Um, Jeanette Glass Refrigerator Dishes. So um, there's one to share that I didn't know about before. But um, yeah, if you have one to share, let us know down in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.